Wait, this tiny bug just helped a golfer win almost a million dollars? You've got to see this for yourself. This for a closing birdie to move into the top five. Come on now. Are you serious? No way. A gnat lands on the side of a golf ball and somehow <laughs> it looks like it tips it right into the hole. I mean, it all sounds a bit sus. So let's break it down. Torque measures how much a force rotates something. And the bug's torque is its mass times gravity times the distance from the ball's center. We chose the radius to be the distance because that's where the bug would create the biggest turning motion. But the ball resists rolling with its own torque and we have to account for rolling resistance that's the tiny friction between the grass and the ball, even when it's barely moving. So for the bug to actually tip the ball, its torque has to be stronger than the ball's resisting torque. But here's a neat trick to use here. Radius and gravity appear in both torques, so they canceled out, leaving a simple mass comparison. A golf ball weighs 46 grams, with a rolling resistance of around 0.1. So the bug needs to weigh 4.6 grams to tip it, and a gnat is just 10 million grams. That's 460 times too light. So if not the bug, why did the ball roll in after it already stopped? It's actually a combination of three subtle things. First, as the golfer walks towards the ball, each step sends tiny vibrations through the ground. And next, did you catch that gentle breeze just drifting slightly to the right? And finally, the grass and soil around the cup might relax, giving the ball a natural nudge into the hole. Or maybe... You're not trained for this kind of thing.